your outside grill. These modern large windows. Window, 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 you see? This is not a proper sink for a 460. Nice idea for the doors. So the 4460 Grand Large. It's the largest boat probably out here. Usually they don't bring boats that, uh, that large uh, up to Friedrichshafen. So it's, it will be obviously quite different than the other ones. Large windows to look up your mast. It's difficult to compare. Actually, now they started grouping the boats more or less by size. So there's a Bavaria, uh, the 370 or 37, there's a Dufour, which is similar size probably for better comparison because obviously it's quite difficult to compare this boat to other much smaller boats. An extremely large platform. I'm hoping I'm not going down with this. And your outside grill. I'm missing the shower. Is this the shower? Yeah. You need two hands to open this. This is weird. On the boat, you need two hands. One hand you need for yourself. One in the middle or some other solution seems would have been better. Nice visible indicator. As you see, indicators and windows are my pet peeve for this year. Nice grip. And finally, a motor configuration where I can actually uh, use it when standing. Finally. Cup holders, always nice. The tables, again, like on the other before, it could, could be sturdier. Deep storage. And another wine storage. Large window in the cockpit. All, usually they are smaller and can be opened. This is one is larger and can't be opened. Okay, this one's very awkward to open. Could go deeper, I expect it to go deeper. These modern large windows, which are actually quite good for looking outside a little bit. So of course this is this is a large boat. But interestingly, they kept this small, uh, this small whatever it's called, but exits. On the other ones, you've seen there is an exit like two meters wide to transport stuff, I guess mostly. Go down, down, down. Of course, I'm missing a grip. I would really like to have one. Nice steps, feel nice. <laughs> this sink is on the other before. Which I really like because it gives a home, a home feeling to the whole boat. You know, this is high quality faucet. Storage, or some tanks which is just strapped in. This again doesn't feel. Maybe it's a good solution, but it doesn't feel like that. Probably it's a good solution because it doesn't break. Like, and if it breaks, you can easily repair it. Look at the height. So it's two, it's like two or five out up here. But they went with a wet shower, which I'm not a particular fan of. More mirrors would have been nice. Danke. Up. Support aft cabin. Also, of course, much more spacious than the other boats. It's always what you compare it against. Window, 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 window. You see four windows. Well, you could, why don't you do it on the other ones? Some storage. Some storage. And 
some tanks. Let's continue with the galley. Nice cold storage. One and two. Some deep storage, some ventilation. Also quite a nice idea, wine storage. There's some ventilation right over the stove. As I would prefer it not to have such a large space behind here, or at least close it up and make it accessible from down there. That way, everything you're cooking won't be there. I'm not sure why they're using this extremely heavy, extremely shitty looking material. And this is not a proper sink for a 460, not at all. It's not deep, it's not large. There are two of those at least. This space could be a little bit higher, that way you could store stuff in there without fearing it falling out. Nice deep storage, lots of storage. I believe I can't go through. Okay, recycle bin. I would, why do they snap? Okay, this is huge. These are actually two forward cabins, which, okay, no, no, two forward, no. Just no. Ah. <laughs> space, <laughs> as much space as anyone could need. Really nice bowl. So the water you get is usually seawater Anyway, so clean, clean seawater, so it doesn't have any sediments in it, so maybe it's a good idea. But I, I just can't, no. Like, this is a shower. The shower is good. Shower, no problem. Hanging storage, large. Nice idea for the doors. But look at this. Nothing, just nothing. One window. One. It looks like I'm sleeping in a coffin. This whole wall. Just, no, no, no. It's nice you have your own outside, but no. This is just, this, no, no, no. Standing space, uh, no. I got worked up about this, sorry. And then you have like your, uh, the first boat I'm on, which actually has a small, uh, a small hole way. And the same on the other side, but no, this is just not how you do how you do it. One window wouldn't have hurt, and I found it to be extremely valuable for your, like your pens and stuff. The movable ones also has storage, but this is not good quality look. What's here? Oh, storage. It could have been a little bit less narrow. You know, if you are chartering and buying bottles, you usually buy like five or seven liter bottles and those wouldn't fit in there. Also, this would be the perfect space for heavy objects which don't fear, uh, like don't fear water, like water bottles. Okay, your batteries. This is basically it. So this is the whole. This is obviously quite spacious, as you would expect on a 46 boat. And this boat is, the boats are getting way too wide. Look at this boat. But this is spacious. If they say it sails, maybe it sails. But that's just not a way to do a forward cabin. In any way, no. Okay, this concludes our Dufour 460.